Hello and welcome to another episode of After 12. My name is Simone. I'm Lisette. I'm Kenesha. And we are so happy that you're joining us again. And we have a special guest. We're very excited. He is an amazing person to my left. Uh, this is our senior pastor of the Toronto Perth Seven Day Adventist Church, Pastor Davisito Swaby. Yes. Did I get that right? That's, That's right. Oh my goodness. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, we are going to talk about today an interesting topic. I think we've talked about it amongst ourselves, you know, time and time again. And that is, <clears throat> what is the appropriate attire for church? Ooh, oh, that's boy. a heavy, oh. heavy, heavy topic. This is a heavy topic, very much so. But before we dive in, we're going to head to the scripture and see what that talks about. Even before we yeah. do that, let's ask Pastor to pray for us. Oh, my goodness. Let's say you're on the ball today. Okay. I got you. No oh, worries. Yes, <laughs> Pastor Swaby, before we start, why don't you open us up with prayer? Certainly. By your heads, please. Our God and our Father, we are thankful that we can be a part of a discussion that will be practical, plain, and important. Lord, be with us now as we share together. May there be wisdom found in this discussion in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so as I was saying before, our topic today is what is the appropriate <laughs> attire to wear at church? Hmm. This is a big debate among yes. our members. And um, Lisette, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you a question, my friend. Go ahead. What do you think is the appropriate attire? In regards to... because. Obviously, with women, yeah. we like to wear dresses, we like to wear skirts, but I guess it depends on the quality and how tight or how loose it is, perhaps. I, I mean, well, what are your thoughts? Well, for me, personally, I believe it should be something that is modest. In fact, like, you know, I don't expect for somebody to come to church, really, if you have been in the church for a long time in a mini skirt, you know? Yes. Something over the knees, as long as it's appropriate enough that you, it's not like, ooh, that's a little bit too short, then it should be fine. I personally don't see a problem with wearing pants as long as it's modest. You know, I'm not telling you to come in jeggings. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, jean, like, they call it jean you know, tights or tights like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You know? But, like, appropriate, you know, dress pants or something, or even if you have something that's sleeveless. But it's not spaghetti strap, you know, because you're not showing too much skin. Because that's always, uh, you know, you don't want to tempt a lot of people, even though they should be checking themselves. Mm -hmm. That's a whole other topic another mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. But just, you know, trying to be more as more modest in a way you dress to be in the presence of, you know, God and in the church and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, I understand okay. some people, you know, may not have certain things and you have to take that in effect in an in account mind, yeah. mm -hmm. too but you know just being modest and just being aware of what you put on and you look at it and you're like oh the cleavage is a little bit too much maybe i shouldn't that's fair that's fair pastor swaby your thoughts yes i believe in the word modesty mm -hmm. i i believe there shouldn't be any extreme where a person becomes the center of attention yes mm -hmm. in terms of what mm -hmm. they have mm -hmm. on yeah mm -hmm. i shouldn't mm -hmm. have to be Asking myself, why did she choose to wear that or he? Because it's not just the woman. Absolutely. Mm. That's true. The men are yes. also dressing yes. in some very odd ways. Too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it should be, yes, the word modest speaks in my mind to in the middle of the road mm. where there isn't too much of anything, uh, either unnecessarily covered. Because there are some persons who think they have to be in a dress that goes to the floor. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And the sleeves are, or the hams are, are covered. covered up to here. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the neck up to here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And because there are some persons who do that yeah. in worship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or it goes to what you said in terms of too, too much is missing. Yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they forgot to add the material. material. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Instead of buying, yeah. say, Two or so yard of material to get the dress built or the garment mm -hmm. done. They bought one yard, yeah. right? <laughs> and so there's a short shortage of material. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that should not be the case. Mm. No. Mm. no, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Good point, Pastor. <laughs> yes, 
I like Kanisha, that. what do you think? <laughs> I think my co-hosts have addressed the, the topic very well. I would also say modesty is, is the key. And in anything, you know, how you dress should, how you look outwardly should be a reflection of what's inward mm. as well, right? So if you truly have the love of God there, if you truly value and respect yourself, but also other people around you, then that is also going to flow out in what you look like and, and what you wear. Yeah, it, it doesn't always have to be a long skirt. It doesn't always have to be a long top, but, you know, dress in a way that's appropriate. Dress Dress in a way in which you can show that Yes, mm-hmm. I I know that I'm valued. I know that I am loved. And it's also because God just loves us so much. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I also like, in the sense when it comes to dress, how it allows us to also be creative mm-hmm. and to show our personalities through what we wear. So for me personally, I'm all about prints. Okay. 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 Yes, that's true. And patterns, that's okay? true. Okay. So I will always wear something with a print, something with a pattern, and that's just me. I like stripes. I like florals. This is this yeah. is me, right? Some people like brighter colors. Other people like more neutral colors. But at the end of the day, you know, it really comes down to dressing modestly and modestly and just dressing well in a way that you are able to carry yourself appropriately to show that. Yes, I'm going to the house of God yeah. to worship. Amen. Yeah. yeah. And I think, yeah, so I think we've all made good points, and I think we've all come to the conclusion, as you were saying, Kanisha, that modesty modesty really is that key word that we're striving for, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I think also, you know, it's, <clears throat> even when I'm waking up in the morning and for, for Sabbath and I'm looking what to wear, I'm always thinking to myself when I'm looking in the mirror, okay, am I going to be one of those people in the in the pew that if I'm if I'm seeing somebody walk down the aisle, am I going to be saying, hmm, okay, that's hmm. a little un- inappropriate. Am I going to be doing that? I, mm. I don't want to be that person, right? Yeah, so yeah. Uh, I, when I when I look in the mirror, I try I try at least to see, okay, is this is this what God would find appropriate going mm-hmm. into his house? Mm. versus um, just, you know, putting on something and going. You know what I mean? True. Mm-hmm. And temptation is a, is a big deal. Listen. <laughs> listen <laughs> temptation yeah. is a huge deal. A I'll give you an example. Okay, this is... Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Go so ahead, I, <laughs> As you guys know, I went, I went away to, to university. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So I was invited to a Sunday church because my landlord was a Sunday goer and we'd talk about faith and whatever. And she invited me. So the pastor that went on stage, now this is, this is a casual type church. I'm okay. not judging, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but this was a casual type church. And when the pastor came on stage, I kid you not, it was, he was wearing the tightest jeans pants i've ever seen oh, on no. a gentleman oh, <laughs> no. so much so that i'm seeing everything oh, oh, i mean oh, 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 everything oh, oh, oh. to the point where i'm not even listening yeah, to the right. sermon at this right. point so uh, so at least he became a distraction uh, yes yeah. Yeah. that's exactly what happened so mm-hmm. we have to be really mindful about what we wear mm-hmm. in that sense in the house of god because we don't want us to be the distraction, right? We want to be able to focus on the word of God. We want to be able to focus on the mm-hmm. the worship experience. We don't want to be those type of people. So yes. to your point, when you're saying you want to make sure that you are representing God in a way that is appropriate, not only appropriate, but is going to be an example <coughs> Right. That's that's a that's a huge key. But I'll also say, yes, this as well. It also comes down to conviction. Yes. Right. So we we mentioned the word modesty a lot and to different people, modesty means different things. Right. So sometimes it does mean the long dress. It does mean the long, you know, long sleeves. But to other people, it means, you know, I'll wear like a knee length skirt and, Mm -hmm. you know, a top that covers you know, just about like to my elbows, but ultimately it does come down to conviction and the relationship that you have with God for yourself, because 
sometimes, and I've had this experience too, the Lord himself will tell me what to wear some mornings. Girl. Okay. Really? I would just go to my closet and be like, Lord, I don't know what to wear today. Or I know I have to go to this event, this function. (laughs) (laughs) You know, if you have... If you have a few, then, you know, that's it. But you if have you have no so choice. many, yeah. then you're I wondering. Mean, you know, let me tell you. Let's, let's, let's not tell our secrets here. <laughs> okay. That's, we, we, love, we love our fashion, okay? We, oh, we absolutely. Love fashion. We love these, here we are. We love our fashion. We love little versatility, <laughs> you know? Absolutely. And okay. that's quite good because, you see, the thing is that sometimes some persons are, un, are unsure what to wear because they don't know how they can... Mix and match. Oh, mm-hmm. that's, that's true. true. That's a good point. And there's a lot of creativity <laughs> yes, that is called yes. for. Because yeah. sometimes yes. you may not have a lot of, of clothes, yep. but if you know how to use what you have, mm-hmm. yeah. it's yeah. amazing yes. what what tops can go with one one particular bottom. Yeah. True. That's Are you true. saying you're the expert? That's, we need to come to you. Well, yes, I, I think <laughs> After so. This episode, um, there's, a fee, there's, a fee, oh, there's a fee. There's a fee. Oh, there's a fee. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's a fee. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll work on that after, after this fee. episode. Fair. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Sorry, oh, yes. I didn't mean to cut you, Pastor, but yeah. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. But it's a serious point. Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 And it goes for men, too. Yeah. Yes, in, yes. In terms of how. You know, if you have a black pan, for instance, just about any top can can be coupled or matched mm-hmm. with that mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. if you know how to mm-hmm. how to wear it. Yeah. And there are some persons who don't have a necktie mm-hmm. or may have only one necktie and 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 don't know how to be versatile with that even one necktie mm-hmm. in terms of the top that you wear it with right. changes the look and persons won't even know that it is the same necktie as is being worn True. week after week because they're the top like it is worn with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It yeah. makes a lot of difference. That's so true. so interesting. Difference. So it's a matter of understanding how to mix and match. Mm-hmm. Y- you know, of course in Jamaica they always say you take your hand and make fashion. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. so it's just being creative. It's being creative yeah. 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 fashionable yeah. Yeah. with the little that you have. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. persons mm-hmm. don't have a lot. No. And sometimes True. Uh, there are some persons who stay away from church because they don't want to be wearing the same thing over and over. over. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't want yeah. to say that to you either. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so they just stay away for a little while until they think, well, in a couple of weeks I'm gone, I can come back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But why do they do that, Pastor? Is that because per- they're personally embarrassed or is it because there are people, uh, there are members that are going out of their way to point out that you're wearing the same yeah. outfit. Why sometimes is that it's more important? personal, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's what we think. Because sometimes we we function a lot based on uh, our perception. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. right. And so if we think persons will notice what we wore last week, I can't wear it again this week. Mm. There's nobody who's going to point it out to you necessarily. Mm-hmm. Mm. But you become conscious and mm. say to yourself, I can't read it again next week. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And so if I don't have a lot, I stay away. And sometimes, even if some of those persons might have talked to a, f- you know, a certain person, so I might be able to even get some assistance because there's some persons who have things, you know, mm. true, who have things. True. Mm-hmm. You know, mm. even Kenisha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <You> know, <laughs> Based on what she said. Yeah, based yes. oh, oh, oh. I like thought that was a person. S- she had so many based on what she said. Okay, okay. But um, <laughs> <laughs> there are some persons yes, who have yeah. a whole lot. Yes, yeah. yes. And yes. they'll be happy to share. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if they don't know that you have a need, they won't necessarily come to you mm-hmm. either because right. they won't know. And sometimes as a, as a church or as believers together, we have to reach the point where we become comfortable mm-hmm. sharing. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, must be one or two persons you can confide in uh, and to say so and so I can't afford so and so. Yes. Mm-hmm. So if you come across, you know, think of me. Yeah. Yes. You know, the yes. same way I'll tell somebody if you if you come across mangoes, think of me. Oh, thank you. And that's a serious that note. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. no joke. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> if you come across mangoes, think of me. As me me as well. Just me as, as well. Many. I love that. Anytime. <laughs> okay. Just come to me and say, Pastor, I came across these. Okay. Not for myself, but for you. We'll, mm-hmm. we'll make a note when we're <laughs> traveling. <laughs> yes. Uh, sure. To the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll make sure. That's we'll make sure. sure. That's for fair. Sure. Okay. Um, that's a good point. And I and I I wish I wish we I wish we had that kind of community mm-hmm. to just come mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. um, voluntarily talk about stuff like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I'm not putting the church on the spot, but we have a clothing drive. Yeah. Yes, we do. And um, wouldn't it be so awesome to actually cater that to our church members before... I wouldn't say before we go out into the community, but it would be so <laughs> nice to know <laughs> that um, people that are in need mm-hmm. and in within the church that need a new um, cl- clothing item or, or outfit for church, they can actually go and, and pick something out. But I don't, I don't know why we, um, I don't know why we, ha- we have problems with that. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't think I don't if we have the problem is the people that are coming yeah, to receive well, yes. the, the, yes. the clothing mm-hmm. may yeah. feel a way because, you know, right. they feel like, Oh, I'm a charity case or, you know, people are looking at me or judging me. Mm-hmm. That's always the main problem with, a lot of these things, people feel a way about it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's more well, f- making them that? feel comfortable yeah. more to do it. Mm-hmm. Maybe making it more of a personal thing okay. instead of it being out in the open. So yeah. people know, oh, she needs stuff. Like mm-hmm. they feel, you know, it's always about that thing in the background. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, people know my business. Yeah. yeah you yeah, know, yeah, we yeah. need to get, as Pastor was saying, we need to get that point where we feel more comfortable around each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's you know, so. Yes. Okay, well, these are some great points. I, I have a question for, your, for you Before all. we do that, though, yes, we need to remind the audience to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, okay. Yes, please like, comment, share, comment, below. subscribe. Very important. Yes. Uh, also comment on some appropriate clothing that you feel is appropriate for a church. We'd love yeah. to hear your, your feedback on that, and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it in the next episode. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay, so I have a question for all of you guys. <coughs> And this is what I've I've thought about too. So name the worst attire that you've worn to church. Oh my! That Ooh. you knew when you were leaving the house, you knew that that was the wrong choice, but you you did it anyway. Oh. You did it anyway. Ooh. That's a hard question. For That's me. a hard, hard question? question for me. Okay. Yeah, for you, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Worst was a meal. Why? Because you're a fashionista. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> Come on. Well, I think because of how I was brought up, my my yeah. mm-hmm. my mom always made sure that we were appropriately dressed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And even now, when I dress, she's in my head. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So each week when I I put my my stuff together, and for me, I put my stuff together from early in the week. Yes. So, right. so it's not a last minute thing. I, I know what I'm going to wear by tomorrow, by by Sunday of of that week. Mm-hmm. I know what I'm going to wear. Okay, and everything wow. and, all right. And everything so, is and good. Not me. Yeah, so I know what I'm <laughs> okay. going to wear. All, all right. right. So I saw yeah. I was brought up. Okay. I saw. I, I saw our mom did it. Yeah. You're making us look bad, though. I'm just telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm just saying. Sometimes I Friday night, I'm like, oh, I'm wearing. Yeah. Yeah. And so we were always dressed a particular way mm. for church. Yeah. yeah. Whether it be on a Sabbath, whether it be, of course, back home in Jamaica, we, we had Sunday night meetings. Mm-hmm. So whether it be a Sunday night meeting or even f- or a Wednesday night meeting, which we also have here, we were dressed appropriately. Okay. So some things that we wore as children, and I still do today, the same thing I still practice. What I wear on Sabbath is not what I wear in the week. Okay. Mm. Okay. So, so these are the Sabbath garbs. And the other items are worn in the week. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so Sabbath things are treated specially and differently. Okay. Yeah. I like yeah. that. I'm going to have to start that. Yes. adapting <laughs> yeah. that to my yeah. head. Get, a yeah. bit, get yeah. better at that. Yeah. Yeah. Random question. Do you always wear suits in the week or do you, do yes, you switch I, it up? Yes, I, I wear suits a number of days I- in each week. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. those are different suits. So I you're a suit guy is what you're saying. Like I am a po- suit guy. Okay. Yes. Okay. I love, okay. All right. as my mom would say, I am jacket beloved. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Like that one. All right. Yeah. Okay. Wow, All right. Throwing, throwing these but you didn't hear what he said, though. He said those are different. 
yes. yeah. suit. Yeah. Oh wow. Yes. My, my. Those are yes. Different. <laughs> so I so want to see his closet. Those are the, wow. in the week suits. suits, and then he has and special then he has suits. The yeah. Yeah. suits. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, Pastor. Yeah. So we know when we need fashion tips. We know when yeah. Yeah. you know if we need to put together yeah. a fundraising fashion show for the church or you know community event. We know who to go to. Yeah. But tell us the truth now. Tell us the truth. It's it's a walk-in closet at your house. Is that what you're saying? We talk about that outside. Okay. 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 Too much information. Okay. No problem. We'll, we'll, talk, yeah. we'll, talk, we'll talk after. Okay. All right. All right. Kanisha, talk to me. Talk to me. Um, Have you ever worn something that when, as soon as you're leaving the house, you're like, oh my goodness, mm, this is going to cause um, some trouble? I don't know. I think the only thing that I can think of was probably a time, I think I wore. It was a skirt, and I love the skirt so much, but it was too big. Mm. It was entirely too big for mm. me, but I'm like, I really like this, and I just <laughs> really want to wear it because <laughs> it looks so cute, and it goes well with this top, yeah, yeah. and like, it completes the outfit. <sighs> but it, as soon as I left the house, that, that was a mistake because I came to church, and I was just constantly fixing mm, okay. and trying to okay. pin and trying to do this just to make sure that it stayed on and like no oh man it just so you were completely distracted from I was so distracted okay. and I couldn't focus on worship like I just constantly had to be getting up and going outside like and fixing and then like no okay. see yeah this was a mistake no, I should not this just because it looked cute doesn't mean I had to wear <laughs> yeah. it that day <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear that. I hear that, my friend. So, yeah. <laughs> it's happened to the best of us, for yeah, sure. Yeah, what about yeah. you, Lisa? Just thinking, I look thinking about all the clothes I have. The I have a skirt. See, I'm not I the only one with a lot of clothes. I know. <laughs> pray, pray for me. Yeah. <laughs> I had I had a sk- I have a skirt. I still have the skirt, actually. No shame, eh? I'm just saying. I wore it one time. It has a split in the middle. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I put it on. I was like, oh, everything's fine. Sat down. I was like, oh, no. This is not good. <laughs> <laughs> and I was the, when I sat in church, I had to cover my yeah. my my oh. lap with a uh, coat, and I was like, "This is not good." Were you on Never stage again. that no. day? No, okay. praise I God, yeah. praise yeah. God, I was not. Yeah. Okay, okay, but, yeah. no, okay, yeah. All right, cool. That's the only one I would say. Cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think for me, the the one that sticks out like a sore thumb is um. Okay, so the skirt was fine. It was it was. I think it was an appropriate skirt. It's just the fabric was not forgiving. Ooh. Mm, so yes. when you sometimes, have, yes. yeah. yeah, when yeah. you have a skirt like that, sometimes it can reveal a Things. little too much in the back. Yeah, you don't want, you don't want to yeah. See. So I, when I was leaving, I was, I, I think I was running late, and I was like, oh, I don't have time to change, but oh. But I like the skirt. And it, okay, See? so yes, so I went ahead yeah. and did that. But um, as I yeah, as as I and mind you, I had to sing that day too. Oh mm. no! So this was before streaming, the days of streaming, folks. <laughs> Uh, so you'll never see that on internet, yeah, on the internet. No, <laughs> never. or our channel, mm-hmm. for that matter. But uh, when um, yeah, I had to sing, and then I'd come off and come on. It was it was just oh, it was embarrassing. So like like you were saying, I was I was completely focusing on that faux pas, if you mm. will, versus the actual um, service. So much so that an, a, a male member came up to me. And spoke to me about it, and um, I mean, I was a little annoyed, but at the same time, I was like, okay, I mean, he has a point, because I was thinking about it myself. So that, that for me, was the sore thumb. Mm. I, I never wore that skirt again. I, as soon as I got home, I threw it out. Mm. So, I mean, if that's the lesson learned, then so be it. No but I, I guess from moving, moving on from there, I just tried to be more mindful of what I was wearing. And, you know, there are appropriate undergarments that we ladies Mm -hmm. have that can help with that particular problem it could be a little more forgiving Mm. um in that respect so um i just tried to be more mindful about that i'd like to ask a question yes yes um is there a proper way to approach a person who may be considered inappropriately dressed. 
Whoa. See, that was kind of like my next question, but let's uh, dive into this. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. Mm. Um, that's I a very so. good question, Pastor. I, I think for me, I think it's how you choose your words mm-hmm. or how you say it versus yes. just saying it at all. If it's it's a it's a situation where, say, you know, a, a female member will pull me aside and be like, um, "Hey, friend, um, I'm just I'm just tell like I just want to be honest. You know, your skirt." wasn't the best choice today versus um, you can't wear that. Mm. And I'll just be like, why? Because <laughs> yeah. <you can't>. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Just like, yeah. just it's more of approach. a demanding, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a demanding stance versus a loving stance. I yes. guess yes. is the difference. You yes. know what I mean? Yep. Um, I think we have that problem a lot in, uh, let's just speak for the Adventist realm because that's, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. where we're dealing yeah. with. Mm-hmm. Where, a lot of our older members, because and, and the Caribbean mentality, I'm mm-hmm. sorry, I have mm-hmm. to say it, the Caribbean mm-hmm. mentality where it's like very um, authoritative, where we have to listen. So they'll say something and we have to abide and say, okay, no, no. So it's that kind of forceful stance, which is not very, um, it's, it's, not, it's not convincing, I guess. Mm. in 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 um understanding that person's point of view so i think i think you you guys understand what i'm saying Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i think if you come in a loving way to be like hello my sister um i just i i thought you looked beautiful today but i do feel the skirt's a little (laughs) inappropriate for church you know and we could talk about it Mm -hmm. you know what i mean if i have questions i i'll you you better have an answer for me you can't just be like Mm -hmm. because i said so no, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't no. work that way. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want to add to it? And it isn't, mm-hmm. it's not always an easy conversation it's not mm-hmm. to have. Mm-hmm. It's, mm-hmm. it's one that's very vulnerable and you have to be mindful of how the other person is feeling and, you know, possibly how they're going to take it. And mm-hmm. I mean, you can only, you, you can't really control that, but yeah. what you can control is how you come at the person. And it goes back to what you're saying, instead of coming as, very authoritative, mm-hmm. come from a loving perspective. So I think that's where you'll be able to win that person exactly. and you know, help them to see you know, what you're exactly. le- trying to let them know. Yeah. I would say that? even, not even s- what you say is how your actions are. And that too. Because that I remember too. one time I came to church, I forgot what I was wearing, and one of the people that were standing by the door, she said, good morning. I said, happy Sabbath, good morning. Before she even said good morning, she did this up and looked oh me gosh. up and down, <laughs> and then said good morning. And I could have said something. I just said, you know what, leave it alone. It's not even worth your time. But it's something like that, from like for me, I don't care. But you know, it could be a new believer or somebody that is new to the church or is a new member. You know, mm-hmm. that is not so strong or able to handle something like that mm-hmm. could feel away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So it's even not only what you say is how you act too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I, I completely agree with that. Yes. yes yeah. Yes, and sometimes for me, it's also who, um, how it is said, but also who says it. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. So for me, yes, sometimes yes. I've had occasion where I, I've had to ask my wife to speak to the person yeah. mm-hmm. because I think it, 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 it will come across different coming yeah. from a female mm-hmm. right. yeah. and coming from me, the pastor. I mean, Very yes. good point. and sometimes I, I have asked other members who I know is respected in a certain way mm-hmm. where persons don't see, don't see her or him as someone who is authoritative in, in the sense of you know, somebody who commands stuff or demands stuff or speak as if, well, this is how it has to be. Yeah. But somebody mm-hmm. who is who is more like motherly, yes, yes, or yeah. sisterly, who is yeah. caring and yeah. compassionate, because these persons tend to be able to reach, you know, these persons where after they are through, the person doesn't feel offended mm-hmm. or doesn't feel right. hurt right. or embarrassed, mm-hmm. but know that yes, maybe what I have. What I am dressed in might not have been the best choice for that given day. Yes, mm. yeah. yes. Mm-hmm. Y- y- you know. Very good yeah. point, Pastor. Very good, very good point. Um, it it really is. I I always say that words are very powerful. So yes, you have are. to be very mindful of how you say things when you're talking to people mm-hmm. because it will come across. I mean, listen, all of us are different. Mm-hmm. All of our sensitivity levels are different. So 
we really have to be mindful of, of what we say because it can come across as, you know, one spectrum, very, um, um, very upsetting, annoyed, embarrassed. On the other spectrum, it doesn't phase that person. So we really have to be mindful mm -hmm. of that. Yes. Um, we could piggyback off that question into a question that I want to ask you now, and that is, what do you do when you are approached by someone who comments negatively about your attire? How are you going to respond? So this is kind of tying in to basically what we're talking about. Well, for me, I'd say thank you. I appreciate your comment. <laughs> <laughs> Smile and walk away. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> or sometimes, or to add to that, sometimes yeah. ask why, or I have a question yeah. why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you never may, you may feel a certain way, and then somebody may feel, oh, it may look a different way to somebody else. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. my problem. I, I wish yeah. I could be that person to be like, why? Because sometimes my coping mechanism when someone's talking to me negatively, I tend to shut down. Mm. That's, that's my coping mechanism. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I, I, I would love, I, I guess I, I'm going to have to learn or work on that, is to be like, why? Why are you mm -hmm. doing that? Or why yeah. are you saying mm -hmm. that? Yeah, mm -hmm. because we'd like to know what, you know, you went yeah. out of your way. To let and past sister so and so and yeah. brother so and yeah. so to come talk <laughs> to me. The entire why? church and came to me right here. Yes. Right? Yeah. Right. So I, I would love to know. Yeah. I would love yeah. to know. Um yeah, I I um <laughs> for an example. Uh so I w it was uh it was Black History Month. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're 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 um wearing African garb. Yes. Okay. And I had a beautiful skirt that I bought, okay, with my, my hard-earned money, Pastor. Okay. <laughs> beautiful skirt. Your own money. Yes, okay. my own money. Mm, yeah, I, I work for a living, yes, okay. sir. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, not just a pretty face. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I, I bought this skirt. Obviously, I'm on, I'm on praise team. I'm singing. I come down. This random lady that I've never met in my entire life comes up to me and says, uh, the skirt you're wearing is, is not appropriate. And um, I said, oh, okay. I'm trying to be kind now, right? Because, you know, mm -hmm. I'm trying to respect my elders here. And she goes, uh, well, because um, you see here, and she's, she's pointing at some of the patterns and stuff, and apparently one of them looked like an, like a, like an eye or something like that. Okay. Mm. Interesting. Right? Okay. And hmm. I was like, oh, hmm. okay. Ooh, I, well, thank you. I mean, I don't even know what to say now. <laughs> obviously, I'm up in my. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, I'm up in my feelings because I spent quite a pretty penny on this skirt, yeah. right? right? And um, I don't know what she's talking about. Now, I wish I wish I had asked more mm. questions because mm -hmm. um, rather than my feelings being overpowered, because I did wear the skirt again. But after that, I said, you know what? Maybe I'll retire it for a little bit mm. because I think I should. I haven't. I haven't. I didn't get a chance to, but um, I, at the time, I should have researched to see what she was really talking about. Because mm. maybe it's possible she might have had a point because, you know, we, we don't always know what we're buying in True. that particular realm because right, I'm, right. I'm not of African descent. I, I don't really know what, what I'm buying per se. Um, but, I mean, I guess that's just the point. Um, that was an example I was just bringing up as to how I responded to her. Mm. Again, I, I was up in my feelings and I shut down. Mm. But yeah, man, I was cussing her off the side. True. No. Um, <laughs> with with a with a friend. I shouldn't have passed her. I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest. I was cussing her off to the side. But yeah. but I probably looking back now, I probably shouldn't mm. have. Mm -hmm. And I probably should have researched. And maybe maybe I will but probably get around to it. But but that's just an example of um us trying to be respectful and, mm -hmm. and understanding. But I never saw that woman again. So I don't even know what that's about. I don't know, mm. but um, it, it could have been a sign. It could have been any yeah. anything. Yeah. But yeah, that that was just an example I wanted to share. But yeah, hmm. yeah. What about you? Um, Interesting Nisha? experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess my response would be similar to Lisette in mm -hmm. the sense of, depending on what the person is saying, it's like, okay, yes, thank you for bringing this <laughs> to my attention. <laughs> great yeah, i'm yeah. glad we had this talk uh -huh. walks away or i will honestly ask questions like why mm -hmm. do you think that this is inappropriate because again for me clarity mm. clarity mm -hmm. you can't tell me something and then not give me the why behind it 
I need to have some sort of understanding. I need to know why you're thinking what you're thinking. So, yeah, that w- that would pretty much be my response. One or one of those two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Fair. Pastor, any last thoughts on that that question? It's that um, sometimes individuals, similar to what we said earlier, may not know how to make the approach, hmm. and they come into you can make things worse mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because maybe what you what you have on you are already uncomfortable in mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and this person is I- I- as if they are reinforcing that thought right mm-hmm. and you don't want it to be reinforced because okay. you're already right. in church mm-hmm. or at church mm-hmm. and, uh, and sometimes the person's approach might not be the best and that can frustrate you but similar to what you said sometimes you just need to listen to them hear them out because sometimes persons are are sharing their own opinion mm. Mm. and or a belief that is colored by some experience that, that they might have had yes. elsewhere. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And and because dressing is also cultural, you know. Yes. Yeah. There's Very a lot true. of cultural context that we need to factor in terms of how we dress, where we dress, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, even what the person said to you, based on the material or the design or the pattern that you were wearing, it may be a belief that they have c- coming from some uh, other place mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that that doesn't relate to church. Yeah, true. But they might true. have imposed it into a church belief. Mm. And to say that is not appropriate for church right. when there isn't anything wrong with it. Hmm. That's a good point. And so sometimes to 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 get back at them or to w- speak back at them might not be the best thing. So it's just to, just to take what they have to say yeah. mm-hmm. and say thank you and move on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, and that is why the right persons need to be the ones to to say these yeah, things. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the responses are going to vary based on who the person yeah, is. Yeah, absolutely. That's fair. Yeah, that's yep, fair. yep. Okay. And what seems uncomfortable to some people may not be un- may not be uncomfortable to you, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. right? So it's always a matter of people's personal perception and how you feel about yourself and what you're wearing. Because you may think that what you're wearing is fine, and you know what you're wearing is fine, but then other people will have uh, an issue and be like, well... I don't think it's appropriate. Mm-hmm. So perception has a lot to do yeah. with it. Yeah, and going back to what Pastor was saying, too, also is that a lot of cultural things and things from their own past and, and situations that they may have been through that is basically causing them to have such perceptions of what you're wearing. Awesome. Yeah. Was that mm-hmm. 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 Um, not really. No. Yeah. <laughs> you guys said it all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You guys said it all. All yeah. right. <laughs> well, uh, I think we've come to the end yeah. of uh, this this episode. But before we we end off, uh, I want each of you to tell me your favorite clothing item or favorite attire you like to wear at church. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I have one. Yes. There's okay. A, there's okay. A, okay. I have Let's a dr- yes. I have a dress that I love to wear. It's burgundy. Yeah, I love that dress. I wear it a lot mm-hmm. during the summertime. Makes you sure. feel good. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it hides all the body shame. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yes. 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 Um, I have a dress. It's a mustard dress. I think you guys have seen this. Yes. One. yes. I know that one. Mm-hmm. It's a nice dress. It's uh, a nice dress. I think. I think. I look very fly in it, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I don't think it, it's not too revealing. Okay, it's very, it's it's very covered up here. And a uh, longer, you know, probably goes down to my knees. It's a slight split when I walk, you know. Slight. I have a little room. Slight. Just a mm-hmm. little slight. <laughs> it's li- a slight slit. Um, but it, it, it makes me feel good. And I think, I, well, at least I believe when I'm wearing it, I'm, I'm appropriately tired. So mm-hmm. I, I love that dress. That's my favorite dress. All right. Try to bring it out every so often. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. Faster. I don't know if I have one. I, I, I well, like give, give us, give us the whole. Well, let us I, know, I, sir. Let, <laughs> let us well, know. Well, as you s- <laughs> as was said before, I like my suits. Yes. Mm-hmm. And um, I like a good black suit and a good gray suit. Mm. All okay. right. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, 
those two are my favorites. Yeah, all mm-hmm. right. Yeah. It brings out your eyes, is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, it, it, I I make the suits look good. Oh, oh okay. okay, all right, <laughs> all right. Oh, wow. <laughs> I have a white blazer. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. Watch out now. I love this white blazer so much. Mm -hmm. And kind of has a doctor vibe when I put it on. But I love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's giving power blazer. Yes. Okay. It's it's giving we are clothes. Yes. Yes. With the Lord's blessings. I love that white blazer. It's nice and clean. And you can style that with. You know anything, mm-hmm. and it'll look good, and it's great now for the for the summer weather and everything. Yeah. So yeah, I love that white blazer. I love okay. it truly. Okay. Love yes. that. Mm-hmm. Love that. So, again, we've come to the end. Thank you so much for tuning in with us. Question. Uh, one more question for Pastor Swaby. <coughs> this is a very important question. Okay. Here we go. So when is the fashion book coming out? I need some time. Uh, maybe after retirement. After retirement? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, uh, when I have some time. The tips and okay. tricks. That's what, that's right. what we're but looking um, for. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm available mm-hmm. for, for, for consultation. Oh, consultation. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Is it the, fr- the first consultation's free? The first one, if you... Yes. Okay. I'll give you about a five minutes consultation wow. free. Oh, five, oh, five minutes. minutes. That's five it. Minutes. Um, five and minutes. then anything afterwards, I'm there is sorry, a that is there is a robbery, small sir. cost. Oh, okay. Oh, small. small. Okay. Small. How small, small is small? small? Okay. <laughs> it's a small cost. Listen, All right. for, for the viewers, can we bump it up to like fifteen minutes <laughs> instead of five? All right, that can work. Okay. Okay. Reasonable man. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So yes, Mrs. Swayze will be getting back. Yes. Okay. She's the manager for. Yes. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. We will see you again on another episode of After 12. Take care.